So here I am, just finished my 10 day Vipassana meditation course. Don't know where to begin. I've um, just left. Yesterday, the noble silence was lifted and had yesterday to talk to all the most amazing people that I've known for 10 days, but to know their names, to know their voices, to know anything. And that was just incredible. The most elating, amazing, inarticulate, can't even, can't even put words to describe how amazing that was. And just how amazing this course was. And I just want to capture it now. I haven't brushed my hair in 10 days. That's what happens when you leave your brush at home and can't tell anyone about it. Um, just stepped off, stepped off the world, stepped off into another place, another, another dimension. And probably the hardest thing I've ever, ever done in my life. But hands down the most rewarding hands down the most rewarding thing I've ever done and have been left with a gift that will serve me so well for the rest of my life. So for those of you that don't know what Vipassana meditation is, it's you basically live like a monk and an, or a nun for 10 days and you go to this course and you hand in your phone and there's no reading, no writing, no speaking, um, no gesturing, no eye contact. Basically, you're amongst other people, but the whole point of it is to get into your own head and be in like a solitary confinement. And it's totally um, uh, non-profit anybody it's accessible to anybody to do this and what it is it's a pay it forward scheme so you don't pay a cent for it and when you leave you leave a donation of whatever you feel the course was worth to you whatever your means are whatever you can afford you pay it forward so that the next person can do it and how such a thing runs so meticulously so beautifully so unbelievably is just so heartwarming the food was incredible absolutely incredible it was uh, vegetarian and, and vegan no coffee which I thought I'd struggle with um, I didn't not at all um, the course itself is set out so meticulously well and every day is exactly the same um, starts with a 4 a.m. wake up and a gong goes and you go to the meditation hall and meditate from 4.30 to 6.30. Then you'll have breakfast from 6.30 to 7.15 and you eat in total silence and the food is just incredible and so amazing to be so mindful and, and really appreciate everything just can't even express it I, just thinking about it, it's just just amazing it's set out in beautiful bushlands in the blue mountains and after 6 30 um you go back for meditation i think all in all there's about 10 hours of meditation a day and the whole concept of uh vipassana is mind and matter very scientific um, basically it's all sensation based so for the first three days you just start with a mindful meditation and they get you just to focus on your a very tiny area your senses just below your nose just above your lip line and below your nostrils and just take note of the air going in, air going out. And it's to alert you to sensations because 
there's so much energy in the body that we are unaware of and once you recognize the sensations of the body you realize that everything passes so everything rises everything passes away rises passes away and the essence of this course is to say that our reaction is what causes our misery it's our reaction we give to it so on an intellectual level it's fine and you know you can be aware of that it's not what happens it's the way you can react to it but until you experience it on a cellular level you don't really get it and what this meditation does in essence is allows you to sit with the sensations that come up and sometimes you can get very harsh and what they call gross sensations um, quite painful at times and the point is to sit with it you've got an itch don't scratch it you've got a real pain don't feed into it just be aware of it just notice it and it passes and it's intense because we are wired to protect ourselves and our body's wired to keep us safe and you know keep us happy and no discomfort but what this is saying is through the discomfort you get the liberation so in essence it's about no cravings and no aversions so we are the craving the pleasant sensations or the pleasant things in life and we crave and we crave and ultimately that causes us misery because sometimes we crave what we don't have um, or we're always looking for the next best thing and we kind of never reach it and the aversion is running away from what's sore and what's hurtful and this is the experiential level to show you just sit with it it passes ebb and flow rise and fall rise and fall and I get that on an intellectual level and try practice that on an intellectual level and that's that's great to intellectualize it but unless you experience it on a you know cellular on a real level it means nothing and to sit for 10 hours a day of meditation in just pure notice, just noticing the good sensations and not attaching to it. Noticing the gross sensations, not attaching to it. And clearing the mind. This is what they call a, um, like a operation of the mind. And it's a purification of the mind. And the only way through it, the only way to the other side is through it not under not over not around no distraction so i guess the no distraction comes with no outside contact no talking no nothing just being in your own head and confronting yourself head on and sitting with those negative challenging times and knowing they will pass and they do as well as you know recognizing the elating emotions and not attaching to them and not craving for more noticing that that passes so it's about seeing things as it is not as you'd want it to be and this is run by a guy amazing beautiful talker um Gawinka, i think that's his name and so you go through the experiential um, motions of it every day and then at night you get a one hour discourse and he explains everything on an intellectual level and it just makes sense I was like this guy's in my head how does he know that how does he know what what I'm feeling and that just goes to show how collective we all are and how scientific this all is and how by practicing this Vipassana meditation really just grounds a person and frees one 
of misery and it's not a magic pill and it's not like I've done this 10 day course and I'm free and you know enlightened not at all this is a stepping stone this is just a a little a little step on the path to a new way of being and a practice that needs to be done every day basically the request is to carry on meditation uh, hour in the morning and hour at night which seems a bit idealistic um, in the real world but definitely 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 worth attempting to continue this um, amazing tool that is accessible to absolutely everyone and um, just yeah if you know this is something that sounds like it will interest you and it's not for the faint-hearted um i won't sugarcoat it in any way it's hands down probably one of the hardest things i've ever done but absolutely the most rewarding so if it's something you've been contemplating something that interests you oh i say go for it um, my own experience, uh, everybody experiences things differently, so um, I think my, my different breakthroughs on different days for different people, different things come up. My personal most intense day was day zero and day one. Um, I wasn't committed. Um, I was half in, half out. I was having this turmoil, my, my subconscious was coming through saying, you know, what are you doing? How can you leave your kids for 10 days? Um, I'm happy with my life, do I really need to be doing this? Um, I was just very disgruntled and just just in the middle, not not knowing what I should do, thinking of my way out, you know, coming to terms with maybe I've got to do the walk of shame and <laughs> pack my bags and go before I'm in too deep and I was just on the fence and I found it really challenging that was day zero and, and day one and day two I, I just snapped out I said you know what woman make a choice one way or the other this the sitting in limbo is just driving you mad so call it either which way it's good in which essence I was practicing Vipassana because there is no good or there is no bad. It is what it is and you see it as it is. But at that stage, I chose to commit and I was, I'm in, I'm in. And the minute I made that decision to commit, to surrender, to do it wholeheartedly, it was amazing. And uh, I won't say it was effortless, uh, definitely challenging. But knowing I had committed was so liberating. And everything is set out so structurally. Just every moment of every day you knew where you were and the meditations, as hard as they were, there was light at the end of the tunnel and as taxing as it was on the body to not move and, and, and to let these gross sensations pass and rise. It, wow, amazing, amazing, hard challenging beautiful everything i equate it to childbirth you know you kind of forget how hard it is at the end because the liberation and the most amazing feeling that came with it was just incredible um during the times there were challenging moments but there were elating moments and, and profound moments and it was just a mix of so many beautiful things and um yeah just just left it they lifted the noble silence yesterday where we got to speak to everyone we knew and meet these amazing people and share experiences. Uh, magical. I cannot even begin to describe how amazing it was. And then today I left after breakfast and couldn't even turn on my phone. I just, just had to go and sit for a while just to I mean, ground myself. And just wanted to capture this on video before I lose the essence of everything that is and everything that was and has been and will be. And not sure how I'm going to incorporate this into my daily life. Um, but I do know I've got a technique to, to draw on at any stage and definitely want to devote myself to continue. This is not a 
religious thing in any way and it's any religion it's it's a, it's more of a scientific practice so they're not pushing any buddhist religion or or it's absolutely not non-religion based very scientific very biochemistry mind matter strength mind over matter and it's amazing absolutely amazing and they've got uh, places all over the world um, in Canada all over America all over Australia and England everywhere so if this Vipassana meditation is something that you're interested in or something you'd like more information on or if there's any way I can help just comment below or message me personally or whatever um, but yeah I'd encourage it it's not easy but it's worthwhile and I am now going to um, stop for a coffee I suppose and get back into it so that was my experience and glad I've still got my voice <laughs> um, yeah that's it